Oh, that spells trouble for Cincinnati. <laughs> They're due. He had a better day than expected. And I've got exclusive video to show you right here of, of a full-on pirouette on the bad ankle. Ooh, there it Look was. at that right there. It is a wrap. <laughs> Woo! A wrap? It is a wrap. a wrap. Just think about the progression. Saturday, uh -huh. oh my God, yes. plays in the second half. Sunday stays at home, keeps the foot up. Monday goes shopping with the wife and kids, right? Tuesday, shakes it out, feel pretty, pretty good. All right. Wednesday, we're hopping, we're jogging, uh -huh. we're stretching, we're doing our stuff. Up and down stairs. And then yesterday, whoop, full pirouette, a little uh, cut to the right, a diagonal run. He handed the ball off in a drill. He did a fake handoff, roll out, little <laughs> ping pong pass. I'm telling you all right now, that dude heals faster than, yo, I go to the bathroom in the morning. And what? I'm going to tell you something right now. By the time we get to Sunday night, Cincinnati's in a world of trouble. Because if you think that guy is losing four straight games and back-to-back -back championship games at home, you is crazy. Huh. Yeah. Talk about it. I'll uh, stay over I'm here. I'm still stuck on you going to the bathroom and healing. It's a process. <laughs> okay. It's a long process, Cody. I'll show you after the show. Please no. don't. <laughs> I'm not going to address the four games that they're going to lose. But Patrick Mahomes, we definitely want to see a healthy Patrick Mahomes. Yes. A, a, pa a healthy Patrick Mahomes means we're going to get a great game. Patrick Mahomes on the field means they have a chance, period. As, as you know, uh, I spend a lot of time researching things. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I do. I'm a big researcher here. That's that. right. And uh, I decided to check uh, my uh, handy-dandy uh, research book about Patrick Mahomes' career and whether or not he's ever suffered a high ankle sprain of the right ankle. Okay. And uh, he has. Oh. It happened once in his career. It was in week two uh, against the uh, 2019, so a couple years ago, against the then, I don't know where your team was playing, Oakland, L.A., Mexico, who knows where they were playing. <laughs> I remember the but game. But it, it was against the Raiders. So I go, well, let's see. Uh -huh. uh, now we've got some of the apples to apples, caramels to caramels to compare it to. Okay. So in that game, high ankle sprain, you got to figure, well, you know, he, he wasn't 100%. You, know, you can't expect him to beat Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, you're right. Uh, 30 of 44, Whoa. 443 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Good night, Cincinnati. For the record, that was against the Raiders. I was going to say that, but I'll let you. I'm As a Raider it. fan, yeah. pathetic. Oh, Easy. Oh. This is the so Bengals. This is Joe we Burrow. We manufacture arguments to fit your narrative. Both no. Of you. What yeah. narrative? You just the manufacture. The narrative that you think Cincinnati is going to win. I see what you're both doing. You're I narrative. See right through like You just dug things. all the way back to 2019, week two against the I'm, Raiders. I mean, who finished, I think, last in the division that year. Research is research, is it not? Thank you, sir. No, not all research is the same. He's going up against Burrow and, and the Bengals. I'm going to do one other little favor for all you folks watching at home right now. Uh, there's another little uh, outside influence that got involved uh, in this upcoming AFC Championship game. Alcohol. A guy who knows a little bit about AFC Championship games. A guy named a Thomas a Brady. Uh-oh. Tom Brady. Now, here's the rub here. I don't know if he called Patty. Well, I don't know if Patty called him. I'm assuming the goat said, let me help uh, the young butterfly out. <laughs> Picked up the phone. Or probably had his assistant. Ah, uh, Billy, get me my homes on the phone. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, Mr. Brady would like to speak to you, Mr. Mahomes. Mr. Mahomes, I have Mr. Brady on the line. Right? And he's probably getting a massage or something. And he's like, Patty, my guy. Yeah, Tom Brady also beat him, as you know, famously uh, in an AFC championship game. And uh, uh, here's the deal. That's what I'm talking about. This is what's happened. This is the kind of thing all the stars are aligning, the biggest star of them all, aligning to make sure Patty Mahomes goes back to another Super Bowl. Cincinnati can't match it. I mean, who would call Joe Burrow? Boomer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he won a lot of Super Bowls. <laughs> yeah, right? So that's another win for the Kansas City Chiefs. And and, uh, and 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 Patty Mahomes. Well, I would say this. I think it's super cool that that uh, they have that type of. Oh wait, John Kittner's on the phone, Joe. Uh, can we talk? Yeah. yeah, that's what we need. Andy Dalton on line one. Oh. Do 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 do. Uh, yeah, hey, it's Andy Dalton. Click. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, wait, it's Achilles Smith, click. Look, the, the, yeah, oh, it's Kenny the Anderson. Reality You're still is, alive, click. The reality is Joe yeah. Cool doesn't need to talk to anybody. Oh, Carson yes, Palmer's on line three. No, Carson Palmer. <laughs> click. When, yeah. you're, when, you're try, when you're trying to get over something, when you've been defeated by something, yeah. when you cannot overcome you have to look for other ways that will assist you in overcoming a thing. Joe Burrow has not had that experience when it comes to Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, so he doesn't need a GOAT, the GOAT, a mm -hmm. Billy GOAT, a Junior GOAT, a anybody to yeah. call his line and say, hey, this is what you need to do. Uh, I got it. Uh, uh, JoJo, it's Chef Blake on the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have I run through all of them here? I think, oh, hey, it's Jeff Driscoll. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great game. It is going to be a great uh, game. It's it's gonna gonna be awesome. like, I will say, you know, obviously, uh, I'm taking Kansas City, and I'm mm -hmm. taking San Francisco in the other game. But you have the four best teams in football. You do. And even when you look at the three games that the Bengals beat Kansas City in with Joe Burrow over Pat Mahomes, all three games were decided by a field goal. Great game. So you're talking about great games. The really interesting thing is that neither defense in any one of those games was really able to control the other team's offense. And while there are, you have different you know, parts – of the puzzle this year compared to the other three games and a couple different personnel, it's largely the same. So you're talking about we're really familiar with you. We know what you like to do, when you like to do it, and vice versa. To me, the added rub here, the Kansas City defensive front seven does not get a lot of national pub for being really good. And they're the second best in the league at pressuring the quarterback. The offensive line of Cincinnati did a great job mm -hmm. against the Buffalo Bills last week and dominated that Bills front seven. I don't think they're going to do as good a job because they're now up in class against a very good Chiefs defense, albeit with Chris Jones, who has never had a playoff sack. Well, here's the thing. None of us expected the Bengals' offensive line to perform the way that they did. I don't even think their coaching staff and they expected them to perform the way that they did last week I at Orchard Park. Like, but Chris Jones is a completely different animal. He's coming straight up the middle. He can apply pressure. He can get in the quarterback's face. And so it's, this is a different type of animal that you're dealing with. And then you got Frank Clark obviously on the edge. It's going to be a different task. And they're going to be asked to protect. Joe Burrow is a pocket guy. Josh Allen is not just a pocket guy. He's a he's a get outside the pocket, run with the legs. They weren't they their line was able to do whatever they wanted defensively to get after him. This is a different task for uh, Kansas yeah. City, mm -hmm. and this is a different task for the Bengals. Yeah, I see the Bengals not having an issue because Lou, what you've been able to do as a defensive coordinator and a rumo, if you don't know, he's a guy a special guy, an integral part of why this team is so great because he makes adjustments, not just at halftime, but any time throughout the game. And if you listen to Patty Mahomes, he said, man, every time we play this team, they, they give me different looks. They don't yeah. ever give me the same thing. That They're is still a large scoring almost 30 points a game against them. Their <laughs> defense just hasn't done a good enough job to stop Cincinnati. Just saying. For all those changes, it ain't like they stopped the Kansas City offense. They didn't. And you expect him to this week? Are they really I'm doing this saying. right now? I'm just saying they haven't. It's not like Kansas City scored 12 points a game. Wait, they wait, scored wait, like 27 the, points the, a game. The, the purpose of the game is to win. Yes, but let's not they act won. like the Cincinnati defense, uh, the Wizards on the sideline, came up with a game plan. Well, that did you watch Kansas last City. year's AFC? Yes, Championship? I did. What happened in the second half? You just yelled at me for going back two years. You're going back a year. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. We're talking about Lou Anarumo and yeah. what he's been able to do as far as adjustments. What happened in the second half? Ask Patrick Mahomes. Can yeah. we get that tape? Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.